Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to episode one of the Battery Hall of Shame. My test reports don't give me a chance to really vent about how angry I am about some of the bullshit ratings that we have to deal with in the batteries that are being marketed to us. And today's illustrious first con uh, entry contestant <laughs> is the Basin 2400 Ma Gold 18650 which they rate at 25 amps continuous and 50 amps max. Now, it's a very popular cell in Asia, uh, particularly in the Philippines. And I bought these from a Philippine shop owner who came to visit in New York because you can't get these in the United States or the EU, but very popular over there. Now, I checked the authenticity of two of these at basingroup.com, the numbers check out on the scratch offs. So these are authentic cells. They claim 2400 milliampere hours for capacity. Ha! <laughs> I measured 2055 and 2104. That's crap. Also, that's not good consistency between there. The more typical of a, a China cell, I don't recognize this as any Samsung or something like that. So I think it's a China manufactured cell. And I would rate them at 2000 ma that pisses me off because it's got to be below i mean this 2055 milliamp per hours that's not going to be the lowest of the entire batch so at best they're 2000 ma as opposed to 2400 right there i'm pissed off enough already because it's easy enough to get higher capacity cells but that they cheaped out like that on top of it it performed like crap i'm going to use that word a lot uh at 25 amps it only delivered 116 milliampere hours down to a typical vaping cutoff at 3.2 volts. 116. The Sony Murata VTC5A delivered 1,257 milliampere hours at 25 amps down to 3.2 volts. That's, the VTC5A runs for several times longer at the claimed 25 amp rating for this battery. It, at best, I would say this is 10 amps. This is a junk cell. Now, some might say that the max rating is what's important because we're not, I mean, no one really just uses a cell just continuously all the way down. Trouble is, the max ratings for any of these are absolutely useless. There's no standard for setting the rating, none. None of the manufacturers do it, the big ones. And we have no idea how they set this particular rating was it based on some kind of testing or was it set over lunch someday where they said eh, what do we need in order to be able to sell these batteries but i decided to test it at its claimed 50 amp max rating anyway and it instantly instantly dropped the 2.8 volts so you can't even say oh oh it's max it's important you're only pulsing you can do that it is absolutely utterly useless at 50 amps so it can't use that rating Get this cell the bottom is, is overrated junk basin is lying to us at the expense of our safety just to make a profit and that pisses me off and that's one of the biggest reasons why i'm doing this hall of shame my recommendation do not buy this battery if you have it already don't use it that pisses you off then contact basin and let them know that it pisses you off. Ask them, why are they lying to you about the ratings for this, the, the capacity rating and the current rating? Alternatives for this, in about the same uh, capacity range, 2400, 2500 milliampere hours and 25 amps, the fantastic Molly Cell P26A or P28A. Now, in Asia, it, it's not very available. Certainly EU and the US, they're authorized vendors you can get them from, known grade cells, recent manufacturer, all the good reasons to, to buy from an authorized vendor. Otherwise, the Sony Murata VTC5D, a fantastic 25 amp battery, same with these two. The Sony Murata VTC5A, these are all fairly close together in terms of performance when you're vaping. So don't worry about which might be the best. If you can get any of them, get them. That's about it for this milliampere hour and amp rating range. Basin, you should be ashamed of yourself for selling this junk, but <laughs> somehow I know you're not. For us though, if this junk shows us 
truly, how they feel about us and our safety, how much they disrespect us, how much they're willing to sacrifice on our end just to make a profit, then why should we buy any Basin product? Something to think about. Thank you for watching.